Today on Holmes How Do I, we have to change a pressure relief valve on a hot water tank. You can see the issue here, best we can, it's leaking out of the bottom. So we periodically will trip the valve just to get all the gook and sediment out of it. After that, this one started leaking. So we're going to change it. We went up to the local hardware store. We bought a new one. I think this will be an easy install for you. We'll have to shut the water off and then drain the tank down far enough so that when you hit the lever, the water comes out. So let's shut her down and get her going. The other thing you're going to have to do is turn off your main water as well because your system is going to push water back in through the main system. Okay, with the main water off and your valve closed, get your little garden hose, screw it on to the bottom faucet on your tank, and then just run it over to a drain or if you want to drain into a bucket, it's entirely up to you. We just need to get the level down enough so that when we hit the valve, no water comes out. And once again, make sure that your water turned off to the hot water tank. So the tools you'll need to be very simple, a crescent wrench, a pipe wrench, a big pair of pliers. The valve already has tape already built into it, so you don't even need pipe tape to install this. We'll unscrew the drain pipe, unscrew the fitting, screw this one in, put it back on, and fill the system back up. Okay, so we hit the valve. We hear air run a rush back into the tube. That means we're drained down far enough. Now if your system had it in, if your system had it in and an out valve, you wouldn't have to turn off the main water. Alright, so let's get this changed out. At this point you can turn off your lower valve also. So we'll start with, if you want to use your crescent wrench, you can, but this pipe should not be very tight. I'm going to try using tools that most people have in their house. Alright, so there's the drain tube. And I can't stress enough, make sure this thing is drained. Alright, so we're going to have to use a pipe wrench on this. And that, just unscrew it. This too tight for pliers. Now I'm going to just check one more time. There's no pressure. Okay, that's just residual. And I really don't want to be sprayed with hot water. So I'm just going to ease it out, just in case. So let's get the new one, get it screwed in. Sorry if my arm's in the view. All right, because it don't have to be stupid tight, just tight. Put our drain tube back on. Let me turn it just a little bit more so that I can make it vertical. Now this just needs snug, because you're not really gonna flow much water through this pipe. It's just in case that valve pops off. It gives it somewhere to go. Alright, so that's back on. It should only take you a couple minutes to get the valve in. We could have drained that water down more. It would have made less of a mess. So I'm going to go turn the main back on. Alright, the water's back on. Okay, I'm going to turn the supply from the tank back on. 
and we should be good to go. Now remember, let it drain down more. That's why we had to water it. It was still wanting to rush out of there. Then you can periodically hit the valve and what comes out, it should come out a little bit and it should stop. And every now and then, just put some under it to catch the water. It keeps the valve clear. And that's also your first sign of you get buildup in the valve. Okay, so that was another dish in a home side do I. We just changed the faulty pop-off valve. You can see for the years it's just got a ton of calcium and mineral buildup. So shut off your your hot water feed line. We turned off the main. We drained the tank a little bit to get to get it down to blow this point. We were a little above it, that's why it was still chugging some water. And then uh, just put it back in place. Parts, $15 to $20. Really, it'll take you longer to drain the water than it will to do the work. All right, so if you enjoy this type of content, check out some of other videos on here. And we'll see you on the next repair.